What's up, audio nerds? Welcome to the Audio Hotline, the channel where I review audio gear for beginners, professionals, and everyone in the f between. Today, we have a pretty expensive condenser microphone in the studio. It is known as the Sennheiser MK4. If you want to buy this microphone, you can find it on Amazon for about $300, but it can go up to $400 just depending on if you want a like professional big shock mount with it or not. And for any of you interested buying it used, you can get it for about a hundred and like 80 bucks. And that's what I did. I am personally a big fan of buying used audio gear. Of course, I'd rather go and see it in person before I do so. But if you can go to a place and they have used gear, test it out, see if it works, and honestly, save the f***ing money. Today I am using my Zoom H5 to record this microphone, and the gain is set at actually only about 40%. This microphone tends to run pretty hot. Depending on where you buy the microphone, it will come with either a mic clip or a shock mount, but honestly it doesn't come with much, it's just pretty much the microphone. Let's go ahead and talk about the specifications of this microphone. For any of you that want to read all of the specs, they will be on the screen. You can nerd the f*** out, but I'm just going to briefly mention a few of them. The Sennheiser MK4 microphone is a condenser mic with a cardioid polar pattern. This microphone does in fact require 48 volts of phantom power, and it has a frequency response of 20 Hz to 20 kHz with a noise level of 20 decibels and a max SPL of 140 decibels. As far as the build quality goes of this microphone, I actually do think it is really nice. It feels really solid. It's made of metal. The grill does have a tiny bit of give to it. That's the only thing that I would say, eh, it's not great. But honestly, like the little mic clip mount and everything, it all feels really solid. The little nut that they have on here also is really just built well. It's all just really nice. All right, let's test the MK4 out and see what it can do. If you want to get awkwardly close to your microphone, then this is what it's going to sound like. And if you want a third friend to come over and play Mr. Stedman Pop Filter, then this is what it's going to sound like. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled penises. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled penises. Penises. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled penises. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled penises. If you talk into the microphone like this, it sounds like this. If you talk into the microphone like this, it sounds like this. When you talk into the microphone like this, it sounds like this. If you make videos and you don't like to see your microphone on screen, that's fucking stupid because microphones make everyone 10 times hotter. But if you're one of those people that doesn't like to be 10 times hotter, then this is what the microphone would sound like about two feet away. Right now I'm just doing a quick post-processing test, you know, with some EQ, compression, DSing, you know, shit like that. Stuff that you would use if you were in a podcast setting or just any spoken word shit stuff, you know. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and get to my review of the Sennheiser MK4. But before I do that, if you are a new viewer on the audio hotline, first of all, fucking welcome dude! Second of all, I give each piece of gear that I review on this channel a letter grade, and it has to do with price and quality. So for instance, if I give a $5 microphone an A and a $700 microphone an A, it doesn't mean that I think they sound equally as good. It just means that for the price, I thought the $5 microphone was an A, and for the price, I thought the $700 microphone was an A. Now that we've got that shit cleared up, all right, now I'm going to go ahead and go through just the basic checklist of this microphone. I do think the build quality of this microphone is good, aside from the grill just having a little bit of give to it. I think the price is a little bit expensive, but honestly, that is also kind of correlated into the sound of this microphone. I didn't think it sounded awful on the acoustic guitar by any standard. I do think it's more of a vocal microphone, but if this was the only thing you had, dude, yeah, I think it sounds fine on the acoustic guitar. And now, of course, the most important thing the sound. But before I describe how I feel about the sound, let me go ahead and give you my letter grade for this microphone. I personally give the Sennheiser MK4 a letter grade of an A+. I think that this microphone sounds awesome. I really do. It has a lot of really good qualities. It has a really good sound to it. 
it has just a lot of definition and a lot of clarity. And honestly, I think that this microphone handles plosives really well. I'm actually surprised that once I put this pop filter up, usually I can still hear some with most microphones, but this one, just nothing. And it was awesome. So aside from the fact that the grill does have a little bit of give to it, I still give this microphone an A+. I think that it is an outstanding microphone, and honestly, I love what Sennheiser is doing. I think that they make some of the best microphones. Thanks for watching this review of the Sennheiser MK4. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something, but most of all, I hope you had fucking fun, dude. Stay tuned for a lot more reviews. There will be a lot more coming out, even some Sennheiser ones. If you have any requests of microphones or gear that you want me to review, just leave it in the comments, and I will absolutely get to it. Also, if I forgot to answer any questions questions that you want to know about this microphone, just be like, hey dumbass, in the comments below and I will also answer it. Thanks for watching the audio hotline. I'll see you next time. I fucking love you.